What's going on guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and like I said before, we're not even at day one yet at Mobile World Congress and already we're seeing a bunch of new devices announced. First up is LG, they announced a bunch of new devices today. One of those is the Optimus View. Now this thing is another one of those devices that kind of fits in that phablet or tablet phone category depending on what you want to call it because it's a big device. Not only is it big, but it's packing a different ratio as well. It's a 4x3 ratio. So, you know, comparing this to something else like another phablet like the Galaxy Note, this one's a little bit different to hold in the hand. Imagine a Pantech Pocket, uh, which also has that 4x3 ratio and imagine it enlarged to a 5-inch display. So to give you a rundown of the device here, it's got a 5-inch XGA display, like I said, four, a 4 by 3 ratio. So they you know, claim it's ideal for e-books and web browsing, and I can definitely see that uh, as well. It is noticeably, I, I wouldn't say hard, it's just different to hold in the hand. And then you have a, a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core processor. It's packing Android 2.3 right now, but getting ice cream sandwich very soon, uh, according to uh, an LG representative. It also has LTE capabilities and an HSTPA plus uh, 21 megabits per second. I'm uh, actually cheating off this little spec sheet right here because like I said before, most of these were announced while we were en route to Mobile World Congress to start the show. So 8.5 millimeters thin as well. And just to give you a comparison here between this one, and they're going to give me looks here, but comparison between the other fan with the Samsung Galaxy Note, you can kind of see the design differences. For example, Galaxy Note's a little bit taller, but not as wide uh, as the Optimus View. So another device coming from... Uh, from LG, and it has the cool sketch, it has a pen, uh, a rubber dim pen, rubber DM pen, I believe, as well, so you can take advantage of that if I can get it out from under this. There we go. Phone just does not want to cooperate. There we go. So you can use the pen as well, though it is very responsive to your uh, to your uh, finger as well. You got the camera on the back, and then of course here's what the back looks like, and LG said the reason why it didn't include the pen is because of the responsiveness of the actual display. So there's no pen included in the device, it's a separate accessory, and you do have to carry it around with you, but we can go to the notepad here and take a look. You can draw around on it, and you have some similar settings here where you can change the way the pen looks, change the pen type, the thickness, get that a little bit thinner. Let's say you uh, put your receipts on here or something, you want to circle things on the receipts, you want to draw on your receipts, you can do that and store those in here uh, for later. So it's a, a cool device, another uh, interesting unit from LG, and another one that will appeal to a demographic that likes a bigger device, perhaps somebody has trouble seeing, or somebody like us that loves media content, that loves email, and needs a device for something like that. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com, so keep it locked in the site for continuing coverage at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We'll see you next time.